Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase. The Doctor is in and this is also being uploaded as part of my The Tenth Doctor series. And here we have the Tenth Doctor from Silence in the Library. So this might look like an ordinary uh, Tenth Doctor figure to start with, but this is actually quite a large mishmash of parts because the base suit body um, is a aged uh, Tenth Doctor. Um, from series three. I've always preferred the cut of the suit on that so I decided to use that um, for this figure and then the coat over the top is a standard um, Tenth Doctor coat which I have um, painted the uh, interior um, lining blue but the hands, the head and the arms are from a tuxedo Tenth Doctor. Um, I've had to extend the head slightly to fit into the neck and I've had to uh, completely um, alter the inside of the torso, which I had to crack open the original Age Tenth Doctor torso in order to accommodate the new arms, and the shirt, the uh, the suit on the front, the suit jacket on the front is actually only the front of the suit jacket because I've had to cut the back off in order to accommodate the coat over the top. And then after that, obviously, I've given it an overall repaint. I've painted the um, suit a sort of mid to mid blue, um, not quite dark blue, but not quite light blue, um, a sort of dark navy blue, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. I haven't added the pinstriping because I just decided it just didn't need it. You know, it looks all right as it is, and it's not accurate without the pinstriping, I know, but the pinstriping would just be very difficult to get and put on a standard. And then his um, shirt, I've repainted dark purple slash reddish color um, in order to make that uh, the right color. And then his tie is repainted blue, with red highlights and then obviously I've given the coat an overall repaint as well and yeah I'm really pleased with the finished figure but this is a perfect example of something which I just want to very quickly discuss as well is to do this to do the arms in this was an absolute nightmare and I nearly gave up several times on doing doing this but I wanted to have a tenth doctor figure with the shoulder joints and the bicep swivel you know and it, it and it's come out well it has come out very well I'm very pleased with it um, but there is obviously as you can see around the edge you can see there is quite a gap between the shoulders and the coat where the arms don't quite fit in properly and that in itself is kind of the point of I want to talk about is as a as a customizer um, as a you know, somebody makes custom figures. I uh, I managed to do this because I had all the parts and I could put them together in any way I want. But something that comes up, I've seen a lot of people suggest things like, well, why don't character options use a similar process to give us a tenth doctor with the bicep swivel? The simple fact is, it doesn't work like that because character options, a, a, a customizer, someone who makes custom figures, is not subject to the same budget and quality assurance and quality control restrictions that a company like Character Options is. There's a huge difference between making one custom figure like this and making a whole batch of, of uh, new figures or updated figures. And a lot of people turn around and they say things like, yeah, but if CO just made this, or yeah, but if CO just used that part, and that's not how it works. They can't just make a new, there's no, there's no such thing as just make a new part or just combine those parts. Figure parts aren't meant to be combined like that. That's the, and, and in all fairness, I used to think the same. I used to think, well, why can't they just do this? Why can't they just do that? But then when I got into looking at the figures and what actually goes into the process of making them and the whole point that they have to face budget restrictions and things like that, I realised actually I, it's, a bit of, it's a bit unfair to just say, well, why can't they just do this? Why can't they just do that? Because of how much they've got to go through just to do something very simple. For example... If they, use, if they were to use the Tenth Doctor tuxedo body to give us an updated Tenth Doctor figure, here's, here's what they would have to do. There is no way, the bottom line is, there's no way that they could make that figure without making some new parts, and here's why. Firstly, if they use the base figure, and we're talking a figure without a coat for start, to start off with, if they were to use the base figure of the tuxedo Tenth Doctor, they would have to create a brand new shirt front piece to give him a tie because obviously the tuxedo one's got a bow tie. So they've already got to create one new piece if they do it that way. Secondly, the cut of the tuxedo jacket is very different to the um, standard Tenth Doctor suit jacket. So if they wanted to make it a bit more accurate and make it look better, they would then have to create a new suit jacket. So that's two new parts they've got to create. Then, if you want to do a coat version, you would have to actually create an entirely new torso sculpt because what I've had to do here 
is I've taken the uh, front of the aged Tenth Doctor jacket, cut that off, so I can get the coat over the top. So underneath this, if I were to take the coat off, all you would see is the front of the suit jacket. There's no back to it because it's the only way I could get the coat to fit. Now, if character options were to do that and they wanted to add the coat, if you actually look at some of the older, original, coated Tenth Doctors and you take the coat off, what you'll notice is unlike the non-coated versions, the non-coated versions have the suit jacket as a separate piece. On the coated versions, his suit jacket is actually the torso sculpt. And so, if character options were then going to use the Tuxedo Tenth Doctor to make a coated Tenth Doctor using that body, they would then have to create an entirely new torso piece to accommodate the coat over the top of it. And, as I said, there is no simple way for them to use that body to create a brand new uh, Tenth Doctor figure with the swivel, ball-jointed shoulders and the bicep swivel without creating new parts. Now, even if, even if they use just the arms, they would have to create a new torso piece in order to fit the... In fact, actually no, it doesn't matter whichever way you do it, I think about it, because the torso piece for the tuxedo body, even if they, they would use that, at which point they'd still have to create the shirt front piece to go over the top, so that doesn't work that way. Or if they used an older Tenth Doctor and they wanted to have bicep swivel arms, they would have to create entirely new arms to, to, to do it. So there's there's simply no way of using the existing parts to make that figure. I've, I've gone over it, trust me, believe me I've gone over it, and there is no way that it can be combined to create that figure. And at this point I'm sure some people are going to go, well you've done it, and yes I have, because I do not have the same restrictions in front of me that character options do. And that's why I wanted to make this point showing you this figure because this figure represents the point in the case in point i can do this because there is no limitations to what i can do as a customizer if i were to pitch this idea to character options they wouldn't be able to do it without creating new parts because they can't combine the parts like this and i'm pretty sure if you gave this to if you gave this figure to a child who's going to play with it it would fall apart incredibly quickly because it's not made to go together in the same way so you know i i, I do just want to i did just want to interject that point whilst i'm showing you this figure because it really does represent something and and to be fair before i found out a lot more about how figures are made and how they go together I was, I will hold my hands up and say I was just as guilty as turning around as anyone else and saying, well, why can't character options just make this? Why can't they just do that? Why can't they just use these parts in that way? I did that because I wasn't, uh, I wasn't aware of how things went together and how it worked. But now I found it out, I realise how it actually does go together and how it does work. And I realise that actually more people don't realize this and so the whole point of going over this is so i can say to anyone who still thinks well why can't they just do this why can't they just do that go out research look it up and look at actually what goes into what there has to go into the making of the figures and then you'll realize that it really doesn't work like that it is not that easy um yes anyway i apologize for the slight i hesitate to say mini rant for lack of a better term but it was a mini rant with the intentions of trying to educate people into uh, doing some more research and understanding the workings of figures. Um, but yes, that brings to a close. Another custom figure showcase. Uh, the Doctor is in slash the Tenth Doctors. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it helps me out a lot. Be sure to go to the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.